Hi, I'm Sunil Vimori, and I can't wait for the day when I can talk to my watch and phone like they do in the movies. We're still a ways away from that, but the good news is we're introducing a new API in Android M that takes us an important step in that direction. It's called Voice Interaction API, and it lets apps have spoken dialogues with users. I love listening to the radio on my commute, and the TuneIn app gives me great choices. OK, Google. Play music on TuneIn. Which genre would you like to listen to? Classical. Playing classical. Handling voice input can be complex. Also, I didn't just give a command. I had a conversation where TuneIn asked me a question. That conversation part is what's new. My colleague Barnaby and I will show you how voice actions, together with the Voice Interaction API, make it possible for you to build conversational voice experiences like TuneIn's. Let's first look at a brief system overview. It starts with OK Google, also known as the hot word. That triggers the assistant, in this case, the Google app. It starts listening to the user. The speech to text, cloud-based natural language, and knowledge graph work together to determine what should be done. If it's an action, an Android intent is triggered. In our example, the intent is handled by TuneIn. Now, Barnaby will tell you how to do this in your app. Hi, I'm Barnaby James, and I work on the voice actions team at Google. For some voice actions, it's clear what an app should do. What do the user's command isn't clear, and your app isn't sure what to do, and wants to ask the user a question? Or maybe it needs to confirm something is safe. The Voice Interaction API lets your app focus on the questions to ask the user, while Google handles the speech-to-text, microphone setup, and parsing the responses. Suppose your app wanted to confirm with the user before playing something that may not be suitable for younger listeners. You would call the Voice Interactor and submit a request for confirmation along with your prompt. Google recognizes many of the common ways people give a confirmation, such as yes, please do it, go ahead, or make it so. Or if you wanted to ask the user to pick from a list like TuneIn did, you create an array of options when you submit the voice interaction request. If a user speaks something not on the list, Google will take care of reprompting for you. OK, Google, back to Sunil. Thanks, Barnaby. There's one important thing we left out. How does a user launch your app by voice? For many of the common things users do with voice, such as searching, playing music, setting alarms, and so on, you should use system voice actions. Google recognizes when a user asks for these and fires the intent. This is what TuneIn used, and these are documented on our website. You can use these right away, and we're adding more all the time. If system actions don't fit your app, we recently introduced custom actions. For example, I can say, OK, Google, Shazam this song. Here's the URL to learn more about custom voice actions. Voice is a great way to drive traffic to your app and engage users. Next, check out our code lab and try out voice interaction. Thanks, and see you next time.